Okay, I've, as you saw earlier, I had my bridge rectifier or my trans microwave transformer hooked up to my bridge rectifier into the coil of wire wrapped around this pipe. What I want to show is that how the magnetic field of both the current moving through the wire spirals and how the magnetic field created by a magnet also has a rotation to it as it's fed. The only reason it has rotation in a magnet especially is because the magnet's just not just sitting there like everything else in the universe. It's burning fuel, burning static charge to hold itself together. There's an electrostatic bond of every atom of mass in the universe. This does it in one direction so it accelerates it, but as it accelerates it has a doubled spiral as opposed to anything else in the world or anything else in the universe that's not magnetized. So anyway, I wanted to show how that interacts with an electric current. But what I want to show is that even though this is going north-south, north-south, and only the north comes out the red, once you get to a coil, it reverses it. Because now, since it's restricted, this becomes the south, and that becomes the north. Then it'll do the same thing here. It opens back up, then this will become the south, and that will become the north. It's just the way it works on these uh, the spiraling of the static charge. Okay, what I'm going to show first is the south to south again. Now I'm double coiled. Even though this is the north coming out, that's going to be the south again, just like before, but here it goes. Turn it on, and it pushes away. And the north will do the same to the north. Turn it on. It pushed it away, but it didn't have far to go. I'll try it one more time. Do it a little differently. So it pushed it away. And then I can do the reverse here. South to south. Or, I'm sorry, south to north. We'll attract. Pulls it over. And south to north. Attract. And I don't have near the power with this coil this time as I did last time because I've got two of them on here now. But what I'm going to show is when I move right down the line to this one, right off the north of that one, to the south of this one, it's going to push away again. And the north will attract. And I can show you vice versa here. The south will attract. And the north will repel. So it just, every time you add resistance somewhere in an electric current moving, that's when it restarts re, re, or regenerates south to north. Starts over again south to north, even though this is all north pushes coming from the electric generating station at the power plant. Only the north gets through the bridge rectifier. Once it comes out, it comes through here and then through here, but you see how it's south north, south north. But what I also wanted to show was how the, the, the spiraling of the rotation of the magnetic field on the magnet interacts with the uh, rotation of the magnetic field on the wires. If you watch, I'll put the south near the red wire. And when I turn it on, it jumps over to the middle of the magnet. But if I reverse the magnet on this side, it pushes it away. And it does the same thing when you reverse north and south. One side pushes it. If you reverse the orientation of the, if you reverse the orientation of the, the uh, rotation, it does the opposite. It pulls it. And it does the same thing over here on the black. Put it near the black. It pulls it. If I spin the magnet, it pushes it. If I put the magnet on this side, with the south, pulls it that way, and the north over here pushes it. So that's what I wanted to show, is how, especially on DC, when DC is going, it's a one-way trip. And what it also does, why it pulls it to the middle of the magnet there, is like this, even though this is coming one direction, I'm going to call it's north out of here until it gets to here, it starts to south again. But it's, it's coming by. So you've got like a Doppler effect. 
it gets louder as it comes towards the magnet and it gets weaker as it goes away you know just like sound and so the magnet doesn't know whether it's north or south because it's coming in an opposite direction of the magnet even if you turn it sideways it still throws it in, into it doesn't know what to do one end to pull and the other end to push I wanted to show it's more like a Doppler effect you've got an acceleration coming in acceleration going away so the magnet doesn't know which end is north or south I mean it does coming in is south going away is north but they're equal at the whatever orientation you put the magnet to it okay now with the, with the, the magnets near the uh, AC part of the transformer which output it from the AC part of the transformer north south north south I'm going to show what the magnets do the interaction is between the AC wires and the magnet watch how it bounces and I have to use this rubber pad under here the magnets also bounce so I'm going to flip it over and put it under the other wire on the other side and show you what that does it just bounces so there's no pull or push, it's just, just back and forth. Like I said, it, it's, it doesn't know whether it's, it's north and south, north and south, north and south, so it pulls, attracts, repels, retracts, repels, attracts, repels on both wires. Either one does the same thing. So I wanted to make that clear too. Thanks for watching.